Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about affinity chromatography. Affinity chromatography is a good method for protein purification. So affinity purification uh, utilizes a affinity tag. It could be a histidine affinity tag or it could be a GST affinity tag. So let's see why do we need actually affinity chromatography say for instance we want to work with a particular protein of our interest so our particular protein of interest is say protein a so now we have a gene corresponding to this protein a which will encode for protein a now what we would do we would actually put this gene inside this expression vector for example say it's a bacterial expression vector so that we can we can uh, ask the bacteria to express our protein so this is our gene of interest inside the bacterial expression vector and now what we would do we would transform the bacteria with our expression vector so now our bacteria is transformed with the expression vector and the bacteria would multiply over time producing many many bacteria here you can see it is producing many many bacteria and each time uh, the expression vector would express inside the bacteria and it would produce a lot of proteins uh, protein of our interest obviously so the bacteria would produce a lot of protein of our interest now what we would do we have to actually purify our protein so now how we could purify the protein and in this case affinity chromatography is the solution because when we lyse the bacteria there are a lot of proteins uh, the necessary protein for the bacteria in the pool of proteins our protein would be lost and we can find it that is why we need a affinity tag a tag that would help us to recognize that it is our protein so in this way we can easily purify our protein from a pool of let's say 100 proteins we can easily purify our own protein so let's say a bit uh, more about the cloning procedure so what we would do during the time of cloning we can we can use a uh, C terminal C terminal his tag or what we can we do we can use our uh, N terminal we can use a uh, N terminal his tag so his tag is basically a hexahistidine tag so this his tag is generally comes with the uh, vector the expression vector it has a histidine tag here it's uh, denoted in purple so now we would clone our gene of interest in one of these vectors maybe it uh, c terminal tag be it n terminal tag that doesn't matter so here is the sequence corresponding to that c terminal tag and n terminal tag and after cloning these thing what we would do we would transform our bacteria with these uh, expression vectors which contain our gene of interest now the bacteria would produce the protein and we have to purify the protein and we would see how these whole affinity chromatography works. So here uh, affinity chromatography is just a column chromatography. So it has a column packed with beads, packed with matrix, I would, I would say. So this matrix is called NINTA matrix, NINTA matrix and in a moment we would see how this matrix works so the principle in a nutshell is like we put our bacterial lysate which contain our protein along with many other proteins and now what would happen uh, due to our protein has a selective tag so our protein would bind to the matrix and the rest of the protein protein would be washed out next we would use a particular type of elution buffer by which we can elute our protein and thus we would get our purified protein now let's zoom into these uh, what we say we, we would say this is a bead affinity bead actually 
So in this affinity bead, if we say it's an NINT matrix, so this NINT matrix looks like somewhat this. It has a nickel, it has a lot of other organic moieties with it, but what is notable is that we have a hexahistidine tag in the N terminal or the C terminal of our desired protein. So these hexahistidine tag, two of the histidine would actually coordinate early, uh, coordinate with these uh, nickel and form a coordinate bond. Thus it can get attached with the matrix. Uh, here you can see the representation it is getting attached with the matrix. matrix. So first when we put all the bacterial lysate along with our protein and all non-essential proteins of the bacteria, so it will come down this path and only our protein of interest which have this hexahistidine tag would be bound in the matrix or other proteins such as these blue proteins or these black ones they are washed out when I, when we are using a washing buffer so this step is wash step so this is a wash step we are using a washing buffer to wash out all the non-specific bindings and all the unnecessary proteins that we don't need and then when we use a elution buffer that's the elution step so elution buffer would elute our protein of interest now in a bit details let's see how the elution buffer actually elute our protein of interest so as per elution buffer we would use imidazole imidazole is basically these ring type of structure so histidine also have a imidazole ring so when we put imidazole in the last step so imidazole would competitively inhibit uh, the histidine hexahistidine tag to get bind with the matrix in this way the uh, protein containing hexahistidine tag which is bound to the matrix would be released easily and that is how we would get our protein into the fraction collector and thus we would get our protein of interest so this is a very important method to get a, a purified protein so not only we would use histidine tags, there are other tags available like GST tag. GST means glutathione S transferase. It's an enzyme which selectively binds to GSH. So our uh, beads would be labeled with GSH and our protein should have a GST tag and the binding mechanism is same. And here we always have a elution step and definitely we have a wash step. And this is how we can actually purify our protein by affinity chromatography. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.